Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Charisma here and I'm bringing you a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create color corrections within Photoshop using the selective color adjustment. That's right, the selective color adjustment. No curves, nothing else that you could possibly use in Photoshop to create color corrections. Like I said, just the selective color. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn this picture right here, which is going to be linked in the description below. So check that out if you guys want to follow my steps and use the same picture and trying to get like the same feel and like vibes that I'm going for in this video. So like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this right here. And if you guys want to follow your own steps, go with different colors that I'm sure will work for this picture because I've done a couple of variations that all look amazing with this picture. And this picture has a lot of potential to be messed with so let's jump right into this so what you want to do here is go over to your adjustments and we're going to select selective color second third row second one to the right so as you guys can see here is you have a list of colors reds yellows greens, cyans blues magentas white neutrals and blacks and these are all pretty self-explanatory as to what they do reds will adjust the reds in the pictures yellows will adjust the yellows in the picture greens will adjust the greens in the pictures etc etc so if you guys click on one of these so say we'll go with uh yellows for example you guys get like the scroll wheel here you get your cayennes magentas yellows and blacks if you guys don't know what your opposites of yellow magenta cayenne and black are obviously black is white but off the top of my head i don't know the other three so how am I going to find out the other three? We're going to go to adjustments again, and we're going to go over to color balance. We're not, we're actually not going to be using color balance here. This is just to show you what the opposites of the selective color tools are. So as you can see, cyan is red, magenta is green, yellow is blue, and black is white. So we made our new selective color layer, and like I said, we're going to go over to our yellows. And we're just gonna honestly just play around with this so like in this picture i'm gonna try and go for like this gold moody kind of like summer vibe feel i guess we'll mess that up so as you guys can see you go right you get more of a green you go left you get more of a yellow so i'm honestly digging more of the yellow like i said so we're gonna go with like a negative 80 there i think that looks good blacks we're definitely gonna turn down yeah we'll go we'll go 15 on the actually gonna turn those out my apologies for yellows we're gonna wanna i kind of like this dull look but for the sake of this video we're gonna keep it on this side trying to give it more of that yellow vibe and our opposite of magenta it's gonna give us this more orange i'm definitely liking that so we're gonna stick with it we're not gonna go 43 but we're gonna go pretty high in this one we'll give it let's go 30 okay so as you guys can see this is already like a major difference as you can see our colors have changed our highlights our tones everything about this image has just changed with simply just changing our yellows in this picture so our next step to try and get i guess get rid of these greens is to go into green and we're just going to keep playing around with this and just go whatever looks best in our eyes as you guys can see if we go more towards the blue side it gets rid of the green so I'm going to go negative 50 here. Um, we'll go 30. This basically is just scrolling side to side, seeing what looks better, what fits better. I kind of like this. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to go negative 80. All right, my I don't really know what happened. Uh, my color crash got messed up. My video crashed, but we're back. So we ended off a negative 80 here for our yellows and our greens. And for our blacks, we're gonna turn this up to, I wanna say 20, I'm trying to, actually we can go a little more. Honestly, we're gonna send that to 100 on our blacks, I like that. So next, we could see a little bit of red and a little bit of orange, but we're not gonna be able to mess with our oranges in this uh, selective color completely. So we're gonna mess with our reds now a little bit here. As you can see, there's already red on the face, so we don't wanna go super high in this. I'm probably just gonna go to four towards the blue side of things. Probably uh, five there too. I'm trying to keep it more of that reddish feel. We're gonna go negative 15 on our yellows, trying to 
keeping our face colors more realistic. That's something you really have to pay attention to when doing color correction. You don't want to make anything look realistic because then it just kind of throws the whole vibe off on the picture. And our blacks, we're going to tone these up uh, just a little bit. We're going to go... I'm gonna go with an E on the blacks. So this is what we have so far. It's already, like you saw before, just a, simply just a major change already. We're gonna keep playing around just a little bit. We don't have much more to do besides our blues, and that's like the sky and the shirt. So we're just gonna mess around with this, try and mess with our blues, give us more of a, a moody feel, I guess. We're gonna go all the way to 100 right here. Jesus Christ. I hate designing these. This looks better when it's darker. I go 40. I go 20. I go 10. So next, we're gonna hop into like our basic colors, which is kinda, it's not even the colors really, it's just your whites, your neutrals, and your blacks. Your neutrals, you're gonna be changing the colors. Your blacks is kinda like your highlights, your shadows, your lights, and your blacks, obviously. And your whites are essentially the same thing. So we're gonna mess with the blacks here. As you can see what this is doing, it's literally like a curve, I guess. Just without the curve in your adjustments. We're not even gonna go too high there. We're gonna leave that at two. Uh, give this more of a yellow feel. We'll leave that at two. I usually do this two, two, well, maybe not. Definitely don't usually do that. Actually, maybe, maybe I do. We'll go, Two, two, three. I'm gonna leave that at zero, actually. Yeah, so I'm I'm honestly in love with this. You could honestly leave it at this, but we're gonna keep going just a little more so you guys can learn more and more about selective color. Our neutrals are just changing our lights, our exposure, our highlights, and whatnot. So we're just gonna play around with this. We're not gonna do anything major because we don't want to throw off our vibes that we're going for. Uh, I actually like that a lot. Our last step. And bang, I wanna say that is all for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like below. Um, this is my first tutorial in a while, so please bear with me. I'm gonna try and get better and better as we keep going with our videos. My next video is gonna be creating color corrections within Photoshop using our uh, filter setting, the camera raw filter. So that should be pretty, pretty dope. Should be an easy video for you guys to follow along. So like I said, I appreciate you guys for coming out and tuning in. Let me know what you think below. Let me know if this helped you. If you wanna use the same picture I used, the link will be in the description. And that's really all. Check out everything down low.